And uh, this was written by Christy Moore back in 1988. That's 26 years ago. Again, it is a song with the words that you have to listen to it, folks. And sure, I won't bore you with it if you're not interested, but we, we'll, we'll start it anyway. Sure. I was in Germany myself a couple of times. The first time I went, I was on the autobahns for about four hours in the back of a small car. <laughs> And I can tell you, I never knew the fear of death, before or since. We'll say no more, but Rudy and Sabine brought us another time, but they flew us within a half an hour to where we wanted to play, so. And Rudy was driving, so we were dead safe by then. And of course Sabine. Can you be, imagine being nearly doing 200? Seymour was in New York when he heard that the Irish soccer team I'd beaten the English soccer team. Sorry about that, folks. Hey, hey, hey. In Stuttgart, in Germany, 1988. And there was a program on Irish television at the time called Match of the Day, every Sunday night. It used to go. Okay, hold on there, no, Christy. What was in the year of 88 in the lovely month of June When the gadflies were swarming, dogs howling at the moon With rosary beads and sandwiches for Stuttgart we began Jocks were packed his German phrase book and jump leads for the band Oh, some of the lads had never been away from home before. It was the first time Hacker put his foot outside of Inchicore. Before we left for Europe, oh, we knew we'd need a plan. We all agreed that Jack, sir, was the man to drive the van. In Germany, the autobahns were like the long mile road. There was every make of car and van, all carrying a full load. Four transits and tiasis and a Bedford from Tralee With the engine overheating from a hall in duty free There were fans from Ballyfermit, Ballybock and Ballymun On the journey of a lifetime, the crack was 91 Juxer met a German's daughter on the banks of the River Rhine And he told her she'd be welcome back in Ireland any time As soon as we found Stuttgart, we put the wagons in a ring. Sean O got out the banjo, Peter played the mandolin. All of us fans there from everywhere, attracted by the sound of the first flag hole in Europe and jobs are past the flag and round. Well, the session it soon ended when we finished all the stout. The air mattresses inflated and the sleeping bags rolled out. As one by one we fell asleep, Jockster had a dream, he dreamed himself, and Jack Charlton sat down to pick the tea. <laughs> Jockster drink, they both agreed and packy bombers straight away That Moore and Wheel and Nan McGrath were certainly to play But tippers they began to rise and patience wearing thin Jack wanted Cascarino, but Jockster wanted Quinn When the dream turned into a nightmare, Jockster stuck the head in Jack Who wanted to bring Johnny Giles a name and don't feel back Oh well, the cock crew in the morning, sure he crew so loud and shrill. Jocks are woke up in his sleeping bag, many miles from Spansel Hill. Next morning, none of the experts gave us the slightest chance. They said the English team would lead us on the merry dance. With Union Jacks, the English fans for victory they were set. Until Ray Houghton got the ball and stuck it in the net. What happened next is history brought tears to many eyes that they will be the highlight of many people's lives. For jocks are climbed right over the top and the last time he was seen was arm in arm with Jackie Charlton singing revenge for Skibbereen. <laughs> Now Hacker's back in Inchicore, he's living with his man. 
Jack Charlton has been proclaimed an honorary Irish man. Hey, listen. Do you remember the German's daughter on the banks of the river Rhine? She showed up in Killarney last night. Oh, 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 oh. Down in forties, Shamrock Bar. 